as the three of you consider your wages based on what you know about art modeling. Think about it. Really coming up. So I guess uh, no one wanted to find those daily doubles at the end. It was uh, came as a bit of a surprise to Jill, I think. Welcome to Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. So we did leave the other daily double up there. So two of the last three clues were daily doubles. That should never happen. I was hoping Jill would go bigger on that daily double. I was actually hoping Chris would go for broke on his daily double in the first round. He bet just a little bit more than half. Uh, and uh, Jill, with that $2,000 wager, puts Chris in a crush. So Chris has to get it right and Jill has to get it wrong for him to have a chance to win. Uh, 198, so that's going to be uh, 4401. And if she's wrong, she'll have 10,999. So Chris might as well go for everything. Jill, 4401 exactly. And Bill, uh, out of it, unfortunately for him. He started to come back at the end. I was hoping you'd uh, grab that $1,600 clue, find the daily double. You could have had, what would he have, 5,600? You could have taken, well, you could have come close to the lead anyway. You would have had 11-2 if you doubled up there. Uh, yeah, just got back from a run. I ran home from where I was earlier tonight. And a uh, nice eight miles. I've been spending this time stretching and always, uh, Always fun to relax by yelling at the TV. <laughs> Find the daily doubles. Um, law firms for four hundred. No, don't go back into the top of categories, especially when there's only two left, and there's definitely a daily double in both of them. So, uh, I'm I'm curious what is looking at what Chris and Jill were talking about after the first round because you very rarely see players talking during the game, and uh, I don't know if they're talking about a clue that it just happened. I think. There were a few triple stumpers toward the end there, uh, or you know, shooting the breeze. Probably not. They're all they're all good competitors. The uh, Chris's interview, I enjoyed his use of sesquicentennial, one of my favorite words. So sesquipedalian is actually top five in my book, foot and a half long. But uh, yeah, it's one of those fun vocab words that you never forget. What else do we want to talk about tonight? There was someone on uh, on Jboard complaining that uh, in these we have these think different competitions where you, it's basically uh, categories where you try to pick an answer that few other people have selected. And one of the questions on this week's quiz that's open the other is name one of the people other than Jesus. I think in Da Vinci's Last Supper, and of course it's just knowing all the apostles. And someone complained that why are we asking dumb questions like this? It's totally useless knowledge. Well. Showed up tonight, and uh, you know, centuries of art and literature are based on the knowledge of the Old and the New Testament, and there's so many illusions and uh, different icons that come from those things, uh, those books of the Bible. <clears throat> so, yeah. If you don't know about something, learn about it. It's going to show up. It's trivia. Anything can show up. Some of it will show up more often than others. World Capitals, for example, didn't show up tonight, but... Tonight at 7.30. Actually, that Jetta was close to a World Capital, I guess. Interesting no, I know Saudi Arabia. Models. Players, here is the clue. Seen here in 1942 are the real-life models for this painting. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Should be able to remember it. Well, another night, another very, very easy final Jeopardy. I think everyone's going to get this one too. Which will work out in Jill's favor. It's a dentist. And someone else. I can't remember who the other person is. I don't think it's Grant Wood's wife. I think it's a dentist's wife. The woman was the sister of the artist. The gentleman was his dentist. We it's start with sister, you, Bill. Yeah. You had 2,400. You were in third place, and you came up with the correct response. What is American Gothic? Yes, indeed. Grant Wood. And you double your score to 4,800, and you take us to Chris Tempro, who had 9,900. He came up with American Gothic and sent a hello to Hi, Joel. And he doubled his score, which puts him in the lead with 19,800. Jill is not looking worried, however, because she came up with the correct response. 
And All right. Enough to beat Chris by one dollar. So Jill Gilbert. Is Great work, Jill. I expected you to have a good wager there. Uh, well played game. Uh, other than again the daily double hunting, but uh, so we have two women in the finals now. So out change continuing here. Uh, Chris was a lot of fun to watch just with his inflections and his. I wish he had gone. Thank you, thank you very much. After getting it right, that would have been funny. But still, it's uh, it's always good when players have fun on stage, even though they're they're under pressure to, you know, make more money in two days than they make in a year or two teaching. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're gonna have to see who the third finalist is tomorrow, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing Jill on Thursday and Friday against Gaveri. Hope you'll join me for Wednesdays. Concluding semifinal right here on the final wager.